Hey guys, hope you're doing fine. Welcome to another episode of CNC Talks. My name is Aman, and in this video, we're gonna discuss the use of the 72 code in CNC turning. So just sit back, relax, and let's roll. G72 is basically a code used for a stock removal during facing. So this code is almost similar to G71 code that I explained in my previous video. So if you haven't watched my previous video, please go and watch the video. The link is in description. Also, in these videos, I'm actually covering the whole CNC programming course and every next video is relatable to the previous one. So do not skip any video and if you're new to my channel, consider yourself subscribed. Since we all know uh, in a CNC turning machine, this is our Z axis and this is our X axis. And also, uh, as we have discussed in our previous video, using G71, our tool will remove the material uh, by moving in Z direction, which means in this way, which is called stock removal during turning. Uh, while when we use G72, our tool performs the same function that is remove the excess amount of material but moving in x direction which means in this way which is called the stock removal during facing <laughs> now let's take an example of a cylindrical bar so let us suppose a cylindrical bar of length 28 mm and of diameter 73 mm and let us suppose we need to make this part out of this whole bar so there are basically two ways of doing it we can either use g71 or we can use g72 so if we use g71 our tool will remove the excess amount of material by moving in z direction which means in this way This is called stock removal during turning. Also, if we use G72, our tool will remove the excess amount of material during facing, uh, which means in this way. This is called stock removal during facing. So, using G71 and G72, you can easily obtain the required part but the difference is that in G71, our tool will move in Z direction while in G72, our tool will move in X direction. Now, let's create a program using G72 for this bar. We need to remove this much amount of material out of this bar. Now let's create a program for this bar using G72. So let's start a program with a program number G28 for home position, T01 for tool change with 01 offset number, G97 for constant RPM of 700, M03 for starting the spindle in clockwise direction, and now. The first thing we'll do is to call our tool rapidly by using G0 anywhere near the component. And since we know this is our origin, which means 0, 0, and in G72, our tool will move in x direction. So we'll call our tool rapidly at x74 and z0, which means x74 and z0, which is at this position maintaining the 1 mm gap between our workpiece and our tool so as you can see i have already created a program for this component using g72 uh, this program is just similar to our previous video of g71 just with one change so here when we use g72 the syntax remains same as g71 uh, the only difference is that 
in G71 we use the value of U and in G72 we use the value of W so here W.5 defines the depth of cut of 0.5 along X axis in this case uh, W.5 defines the depth of cut of 0.5 it means uh, during each cut our tool will remove 0.5 mm of material and R defines the retraction amount which means after each cut our tool will lift up 1 mm and jump back to its main position which means if our tool is cutting in this way after finishing one cycle it will lift up 1 mm and return back to its position for another cycle the value of p and q simply defines the initial and the final block of our tool path it means this is our tool path and if we need to start our tool from this position and end it at this position so we'll simply create a program like this for this tool path and the first block which is n100 and let's suppose the end block is n200 so this value will automatically become the value for p and this value will automatically become the value of q so in this case this is our program for this tool path and the first block is n100 so we define the value of p p100 and the value of q and 200 the value of u and w defines the finishing alliance uh, it means uh, let's suppose i give the value of u.1 and w.1 so after finishing the complete cycle our tool will remain a margin of 0.1 mm both on x and z axis so to remove that margin at the end we need to use g70 for a finishing cut uh, but in this case i have already given the value of u and w zero which means there is no margin left so there is no need for giving g70 so once inserting the syntax for g72 we we'll just start a program uh, since our tool is at this position we we'll further move our tool from this position to this point so we we'll just need to move our tool 28 mm on z axis rapidly so we'll just give g0 z minus 28 so our tool from this position rapidly moves to this position so from here we start cutting the component since we need to maintain our diameter to 70 mm which is at this position so we'll move our tool uh, using g01 from this position to this point which is g01 x70 with a feed rate of 0.2 so tool will move from this position with a feed rate of 0.2 slowly to this point <coughs> now we'll just cover our whole tool path from this point to this and so on at this point so after that we will need to move our tool at this point so we just need to give the coordinates of this point so at here x is 70 and the value of z is 10 plus 8 which is 18 mm so we'll just give g0 and z minus 18 and our tool will move from this position to z minus 18 furthermore we'll just give the value of 50 which is x50 or to move our tool from this position to downwards which is g01 x50 and similarly now from this position our tool will move to this position which is 10 mm on z axis so we'll just give g01 z minus 10 and our tool from this position will move with a feed rate of 0.2 slowly to this position and from this position we'll just give the coordinates of this point which is x30 and the value of z remains the same for both the points so we'll just give the value of x30 and our tool 
will move from this position to this point so at last we need to move tool from this position to this point but if we do it exactly the same uh, there may be a problem because at the end there may be uh, some improper finishing so we'll just move our tool just 1 mm outside which is z1 so at last we'll just give the coordinates of g01 z1 for proper finishing so that is how our whole tool path gets covered and at the end we'll just give g28 for home position so that is how we use g72 to remove the excess amount of material from a component so that was all from my set today if you find this video informative do like and share with your friends uh, you can also follow me on instagram and facebook and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe thanks a lot